Good afternoon. How are you? Welcome to All Saints Cathedral Primary School online session. Our learning area of today is agriculture. As you all know, agriculture deals with both plants and animals. The class which we are going to teach today is grade 4. Grade 4, our topic of the day is a recap of our previous Zoom lesson which was not well comprehended with most of the pupils due to some of you not availing themselves for the online lesson or some of you having network problems. But we want to assure you that however the network coverage or the losses that you had, we are going to compensate that using this lesson. So our topic of today is compost manure. Compost compost manure. So in this we are going to define what a compost manure is. We are going to look at the arrangements of the materials that are required in making compost manure and how to organize the materials starting from the base to the top. What is a compost manure? Our first question. What is a compost manure? This compost manure is made out of rotten plant and animal materials. So we take the plant material, we take the animal materials or waste, you can put them somewhere to rot, and that is what compost manure entails. So let me come up with a simple structure, a simple structure of our compost manure. I'm just going to draw something like this. Something like this. Our title for this is compost. Compost pit. Let me tell you that we have two methods of making compost manure. You can either pit, like in this our diagram, or you can as well heap. You pit or you heap. As I explained earlier on, that we only pit during dry seasons and we heap during rainy seasons. Why do we heap during rainy season? It is because of the floods that is happening, the floods that is raging across the country. And if you can pit on a floody season, you know what will happen to our pit. And remember, we don't want excessive dump in the pit. I don't know what will happen to the materials. I don't want to imagine. So during dry season, we heat them. And during rain season, we put them. Sorry, during dry season, we pit because the land is dry. And during rain season, we heat them because we don't want excess dump or water or flooding in the pit. So let me go through this one very fast. Number one, at the base of the materials here, we are going to have, let me use color green, maize stock. Maize stock. That is the base of the material. We need a maize stock. If you don't have a maize stock, we need any plant material which can be used as a base. Why do we need this base? Just to provide a soft landing for the materials that we are going to use. Just to provide a bedding for the materials that we are going to use. So in this base, we need something very hard, like the stock of a maze. Then, number two. Number two, we are going to have the materials that we want to rot. The materials here can be kitchen refuse. Kitchen. Kitchen refuse. Oh, sorry. Kitchen refuse. Let me use color white for our kitchen refuse. Then the next one is going to be animal. Done. Let me just do some something like an animal done. 
animal can and write there animal then our next material we can use a different color and uh, blue Then this 
would ask is to provide provide nutrients nutrients then another food so whenever animal dung is mentioned in a composting think of the food for the bacteria kitchen refuse which kind of kitchen refuse do we use in this matter in our kitchen we have the banana pilings, we have the carrot leftovers, we have the vegetable stalks. Where do we dispose them? The best way is to use them to make a compost heap. Instead of littering our compound, instead of making our dustbins at home dirty, you can take them to our kitchen garden and make this compost on your own. Don't just litter the compound like that. Use this, use those litters, use those leftovers of ugali to make a compost heap. And this is the arrangement of the materials. Then the final thing is maize stock. And how are we going to make this thing rot? It is very important. What you do is you sprinkle water. And when you are sprinkling water, you remove this dry grass. After removing the dry grass, you sprinkle. Don't do it excessively. Just sprinkle the water. Then you have to keep on turning the materials inside. You make whatever is down, go up. Whatever is up, come down. Whatever is in the middle, come down. Whatever is in, uh, close to the middle, let it be up or down. You have to keep on turning, turning for even, even or uniform decomposition. Turning for uniform decomposition. Then, another thing that you need to do, how are we going to turn this? Remember this one is in a pit. And in pit, we, we pit during dry season. And we heap during rainy season. How are we going to, to turn these materials? Just look at this. I have, assuming this is my pit, then there is another pit here. There is another one here. Then another one is here. How long does it take for the materials to rot? That is the question. I have how many pits? One, two, three, four pits. So I want to turn our materials, which is here, into the pits which we have here. Assuming this is what we have, the first initial arrangement, with all the materials inside, I'm going to turn whatever is here into this. Let me say this is A, this is B, this is C, and this one is D. Whatever is here, I'm going to divide it into two equal parts. Half of it will come to B, and half of it will come to A, to C, I mean. So this is A, the original materials. All the arrangements. So I divide half and bring here another half in this. This half will stay here for one week. This one will stay here for another week. Then after the two weeks, I bring everything. Whatever is here and whatever is here, I bring them to our pit. So inside pit D, they will also stay for another week. So I need a maximum of four weeks. It can be four or more than four. So I need a maximum of four to five weeks. Because in each and every pit, as you can see, one, two, three, four, each and every pit, the materials has to stay for one complete week. For complete decomposition. Because I need manure out of this. I need nutrients out of this. I cannot take them to my farm when they are still green. So they have to decompose evenly and they have to decompose completely. So one week for this, then I turn them, one week, one week, one week. A total of one full month. That is when I can say it is now ready to be used in our farm. And what are the importance of this compost manure? One, it provides nutrients. It provides nutrients to the plants. Nutrients are necessary foods. 
foods that are needed by even the plants. Plants and animals, both of us, we need food. And we can refer to these nutrients as food for the plants. These plants, if they have nutrients, they will grow well. If they have nutrients, they will mature very fast. If they have nutrients, there will be enough foliage. If it is vegetable, foliage means leaf. That leaf will be dark green in color. So if you see a plant with yellow leaf, that plant is not healthy. That plant lacks nutrients. But if you are going to make this compost heap in, at home, you can apply it in our farm, you can use it. The arrangement is there, you can try this at home. This is something which is very easy and transfer everything into your kitchen garden. So, what have we learned today for this? I want you just to know the arrangement of the materials in the compost bin. That is number one. Number two, I want you to know the use of each and every layer. How many layers do we have here? You can count. One, two, three, four, five. There are five layers, but the top part is just to provide mulch. It's just to cover our materials. When you want to turn, you have to remove the way you remove the grass. The dry grass is out. So we have five materials. Know the functions of the dry grass. The previous exam which we did, I noted this one was among the questions, but some of you started complaining, oh, you have never covered this. I remember that. You told it to me that you have never covered it. I don't use I want to convince you that don't just stay there. Do something. Do something. To make this memorization also easy for us, we can come up with a formula. You can go out of your own way. Because mastering these points the way they are made, very difficult. Unless you go out of your way. Come up with any acronyms or mnemonic to make you remember this. I can say, if this is dry grass, you can call dry grass to be Dennis. Dennis. Then, this D to stand for dry grass. Let me have our grass again. So, Dennis, then this one can be so from the word seeing. This S to stand for soy. So, Dennis, so, we can also bring another name called William. William. Dennis, so, William. So this William can be W, not W. It is W. W to stand for good ash. So we can say Dennis, so, William. Then this R, where? Where is William? We can say ash. Ash, preposition to show place. So Dennis, so, William at where is William? In the kitchen. So we can say kitchen, kitchen, kitchen refuse. So K stands for kitchen. Then I want to use parliament. Can you say parliament? Do you have a kitchen in the parliament? So we can say Dennis, so William at kitchen. Parliament. Mean plant materials. And I say the best plant material to use here is beanstalk. So, what is our acronym class? Dennis, so, William, sorry, at kitchen, parliament. And by using that, we can memorize these materials. Otherwise, I wish you the very best. Stay at home, revise this. Stay safe. Thank you very much. Be blessed.